Today, we're gonna to be talking about how you can earn extra rewards by staking your Cardano NFTs. And the way that this is possible is through a project called Cardano Lands. And the Cardano Lands mission and vision is all about building a place where projects and their communities can meet new people, make new relationships, and have fun together. So we're gonna jump right into their website here and it says it's the first NFT DeFi platform on the Cardano blockchain, stake unused NFTs, from other collections and start exploring the mysteries of Cardano lands, earn passive income, build in-game assets and trade. So if you go here, you can mint EXO, which is one of their tokens that you can use to vote for projects that you want to be able to stake on the platform. And it is a non-custodial staking mechanism. So you don't have to send your NFT to another wallet. It all stays inside of the wallet that you connect via the DAP integration. Scrolling down a little bit on the main page, you can see the how it works section. So you can stake and claim rewards, stake supported NFTs and get daily Hexonium. So you have the EXO token and you also have the Hex token. Get basic resources, use Hexonium to purchase basic resources, fire, water, earth and air. Combine and craft. Invent new recipes of resources by combining basic elements in the Meta Lab. Earn rewards. Win limited edition NFTs and ADA from the inventor's prize pool. Trade craftable NFTs on marketplaces and make profit. And then step five, holder benefits. Unlock early access, become a member of the council, get boosts and achieve more goals to build your own empire. So if you hit this uh, start staking here, it talks to you a little bit more about the staking hub and it's got the different projects here that are laid out. You can also just go here uh, on the staking hub and you can see it in kind of a list form. So here on this main page, as we talked about, you can vote for some of your favorite projects and I'm gonna show you really quickly how you can get your votes registered. So I have 1000 EXO tokens and what you'll have to do is you'll have to lock your EXO tokens to gain vote points. So I'm gonna lock my 1000 EXO and I'm gonna get the drop down menu from my NAMI wallets and I'll have to sign this transaction. And now it says that the transaction was successfully sent. So we should see my 1000 votes become available here shortly. And now it shows that my available votes went through. If you wanted to withdraw it at any point, you can hit the withdraw button here. But now I can go back into this collection and I can pick a project that I want to get voted. And some of these already have this staked uh, t ticker right here, which means that they are already locked in. So I'm going to try to find. So the Gentleman's Club is a candidate. Let's see who else is available. So I'm scrolling down here and I see number 34 as Pendulum. I'm a big fan of Cosmo and the Pendulum team. So they have 26,000 votes already and I'm gonna add my 1,000 votes uh, to this project and hit save and the votes are successfully added. So now that adds to the Pendulum. I hope that I could stake my Pendulum NFTs to get some uh, Hexonium here pretty soon. So if I go back to the My Votes section where I had put my 1000 EXO in, you can now see that my voter distribution is all inside of Pendulum. But in my inventory is where you will see the non-custodial staking of your NFTs. So I am a big fan of the Chains of War team. And so I have my two Genesis heroes from Chains of War staked on the Cardano Lands platform and every day I get 1.31 Hexonium. So I have been collecting my Hexo for a while now and you have to have 100 Hexo before you can claim it and withdraw it into your wallet. But I didn't have to, like I said, I didn't have to stake it to the platform. It just had to be in my wallet and I started earning right away if that project has enough votes. That's a pretty cool system because I'm not gonna sell these Chains of War NFTs then I can just earn some rewards while it's holding inside of my wallet and I get some extra stuff out of it. If I ever did wanna sell these Chains of War NFTs, I just simply move them into another wallet or list them on JPEG store and I stop earning Hexonium. If you guys are enjoying the content of this video, please give a like and subscribe to the channel. Helps me out a lot. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. Another thing that I really enjoyed about Cardano Lands was their white paper and how in-depth it was. So always make sure that you do your own research before connecting your wallet to any website that you're not familiar with. Make sure that you read this white paper in its entirety before you make any steps further in terms of connecting your NAMI wallet. So I think the most important thing about this white paper when it comes to the staking of NFTs on a platform is that you earn Hexonium. Well, what is Hexonium? And Hexodium is the in-game currency for Cardano Lands. This token has no pre-mine 
and no seed round and no liquidity provision from the team, unlike the EXO token. So you need to make sure the difference, and we'll talk more about EXO in a second. Users can provide liquidity at their own accord. Furthermore, Hexonium is free to earn and trade, but the claiming process requires registration at Cardano lands and wallet pairing. That's where you're gonna pair your NAMI wallet with it. Uh, users obtain Hexonium by staking NFTs non-custodially from qualified CNFT collections, completing specific quests, or by winning community contests. The maximum amount of Hexonium that a user can receive from one NFT is 10 Hexonium. And you can see here the formula that they use to do the mining power for every NFT. So now EXO is the token that you use to cast your votes for projects that you wanna see on the platform. So EXO is the native governance token of Cardano lands, and it will be used for transactions and activities on the platform. These activities include buying and selling mining tools, limited edition CNFT collectibles, staking, governance, voting, and the ability to unlock additional features. So it runs through each of those things in more detail, voting, boosting, in-game capabilities, rewards, staking, and council. So read more about that if you're interested in the EXO token. Here is a chart of the EXO token distribution. So the ecosystem is gonna get 40% of this out of 1 billion tokens. Uh, they do have private sales and seed sales. Uh, the public sale is actually going on right now. So when I went to that mint page earlier, you can buy the EXO right now through that. There'll be 11% in the treasury. You'll get some from staking, team and advisors 15 and liquidity pair 2%. Another project that's been getting a lot of buzz lately is the Dirtbirds team. And recently they had tweeted out about how excited they are with Cardano lands and how they have grown so much with the smaller NFT projects with their staking rewards. And so here is the actual tweet. You can stake your Derp NFTs, yes, all of them to earn dollar sign Derp on the Dirtbirds app and earn Hexo on the Cardano Lands app. Both staking systems do not require you to lock your NFTs, AKA non-custodial. And so if you have a Dirtbird, you can stake on both platforms and earn double rewards. And if you are a project founder and you want to get involved with Cardano Lands, you can go ahead and give them a shout out inside of Discord and Twitter, and they can help you get your project off the ground. And then you can rally your community around giving you votes in EXO so that you can earn staking rewards through Cardano Lands. So as you can tell, there are a lot of things going on in Cardano Lands. And one thing that I also want to mention is kind of their gamification. And this Meta Lab is part of the tabs up here at the top of the website, and it's coming soon. It is not live yet, but it's a really interesting idea where you are going to be crafting these different elements. So these are the basic elements of uh, air, earth, water, fire. And then you're gonna use those tokens and elements that you get to make resources. And those resources then become recipes. And if you discover a recipe, if you're the first person to successfully discover a re recipe, you receive a guaranteed prize and raffle tickets for additional rewards. So like I said, if you're the first to craft, you could get rewards from the inventor's prize pool. And this is a smart contract that rewards active community members that participate in crafting activities in the Meta Lab. So each Hexonium claim, which is what you get when you stake your NFTs, that's a two ADA cost that will go into the prize pool. Every single craft without energy charges two ADA. 10% of all revenues from the Cardano Lands marketplace, all royalties from JPEG store and CNFTIO will go directly to the prize pool and the team will also regularly add funds to the prize pool. So this is gonna get really big really quickly. And they're also saying that the first expected amount for the raffle should be 10,000 ADA. Cardano Lands also currently has some land plots and these are different uh, land plots that will be used in their future RTS game. Get ready to explore new lands and build your settlement. So the Cardano Lands team have a lot of things going on, which is really exciting to think about. If you guys are interested in anything that I mentioned in this video, all the links for Cardano Lands will be in the description. Thank you to them for being an episode sponsor, and I'll see you guys in the next one.